Welcome back. In this video, we'll compare the high yield characteristics of Bordetella pertussis, Ara influenza, and Haemophilus influenza. These infections are very, very important. The characteristic X ray finding of Bordetella pertussis is butterfly chest. In parainfluenza, we see the steeple sign. And in Hemophilus influenza, we see the thumb sign. Bordetella pertussis is characterized by whooping cough, which is very highly characteristic. Parainfluenza is characterized by barking cough, which can be referred to as inspiratory stridors. And Hemophilus influenza has the drooling of the mouth. Again, these features are very important. Bordetella is treated with macrolides, like azithromycin, and if you don't treat it in time, the patient can develop the 100-day cough syndrome, basically coughing non-stop for 100 days. Parainfluenza narrows the respiratory system, so we give them epinephrine. And for hemophilus influenza, we give the patient ciftriaxone, and we intubate them if they start drooling. And here's a small quiz. What do we give as a prophylaxis to someone who's exposed to a patient with Haemophilus influenza? And the answer is Rifamicine, or a guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully this helps.